Hello everyone, Amy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do the Colosseum. So it's in Rome, I went to see it one time, absolutely stunning. It was a sunset and it was just such a beautiful setting. So we're going to draw the Colosseum and it's going to be almost like a 3D effect. So whatever I draw here, you've just got a copy. So what we want to do is landscape. I'm just going to get that ready. Okay, so we're going to do this. Line down. And you want to kind of, you kind of want to go across. So you want to go ah, to about there. And then la la la. And then you want to join it up. Don't worry too much if it's not exactly the same. So I'm going to go up about there. To get it straight, because it might not be straight. I don't think it's straight. <laughs> it's because I'm doing it. Ah. Right, to get it straight, you always sort of go to the paper. So if you can see that straight line, then you know that line's going to be straight. So if it's not straight, just make it straight if you can. And then I'm just going to rub out. Rub out that line just so it doesn't confuse you. Okay, so now we want to create the Colosseum. Now the Colosseum that I'm going to do, it's not going to be the one that was existing, it's going to be the one that's crumbling, which I think is a really nice thing to draw. So it's the one that's now a ruin, so it's not as it actually was in those times. Oh, it is, but you know, <laughs> basically it's not fully formed. It's the crumbling one. So we're going to do this. We're going to do a line. A line. And then what you want to do is do a line, but only go to about there. And then you want to do this. Just create like a, a little line that goes down. And then on this line here, we're going to do rectangle. And then just leave a gap and do a line that goes raw. <laughs> now we want to make these look quite large. So we're just going to do this. Kind of finishes, nah, I guess we could do that, but then I was about to say something and then I was like, oh, no, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. So I don't know why, but this reminds me of a birthday cake, possibly because I'm hungry. So on each of these ends, we're going to do this, just make it overlap. You know that if you think of a birthday cake and you've got layers, so imagine this as being a layer of jam coming out from the, from the, from the cake or the sandwich, Victoria's sandwich. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to kind of divide it up. I'm keeping this really simple. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can, <laughs> this will be a problem. But we need to do lines going down, but you don't really want to touch those. So you just do this, down, lift your pen up, but still float. So you're not actually drawing when you get to the bottom bit. What I like doing as you get as you get nearer the middle, it gets bigger. It doesn't matter if you're not absolutely accurate, because you're drawing. Oh, it's super windy outside. You're drawing something that's similar to the Colosseum. Ultimately, as long as people recognise it, then that's awesome. And then you want the arches, so. Let's just draw, you kind of want them the same height, so say like, try and just use your eye to do that. It's okay if you don't get them the same height, don't panic. It's just nice if they're the same height as possible. I mean there's a lot of arches. Might be here sometime. <laughs> oh, then I'm just gonna, like I say, I'm gonna keep it simple and just do some windows there, perhaps. Right, this has to be 3D because it's a section of the building. So we're just gonna do, just do a line like that and a little line like that, just to show that it's got some form to it. There's obviously a lot more detail going on in this, but I want to keep it quite simple. <coughs> On top of each line, you're going to do this. 
rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. It doesn't matter if it's not completely in the middle. I'm going to make a little pillar. So it doesn't matter, like I say, I mean, there's a lot to do. I'm just going to do them quite quick. And to be honest with you, even if it's a little bit wobbly, it can look quite cool sometimes. So don't worry. You don't want to do it for perfection. You want to do it for progress. So as long as you're creating the Colosseum, then it's good. It's when you stop and think, I can't do it. And then you just stop. Now, you can't make progress if you stop. But if you just continue, persevere, don't give up. That's what I'm trying to do. If I can't do something, it's really handy. You're going to do this in pencil, but what you could do is once you've done it in pencil, go over it in pen because then you'll know which line you want to keep, so it's quite handy. Okay, right, that is done. Now what I want to do, because mine is the falling down version, so it's the one that's a bit crumbly, and it wouldn't have looked like this in Roman times, it would be the full thing, but I really think it looks very artistic and very pleasing to the eye when you've got like half, well, nearly half of it, um, especially because I want to put a sunset behind it. So you're going to rub this bit out with a normal rubber, like a school rubber or whatever you're using, if you're doing it at home or in school. Or if you're an adult and you're just doing it somewhere else, that's fine. Okay, right. <laughs> that is literally it. Like I really quite like that, to be fair. All you want, you could do 3D versions inside, but I'm going to keep it super simple because there is quite a lot of detail for what we've drawn. Um, what I'm going to do is just do a line and a line just to give it a little bit of reference of where it is. And then just a wobbly line because it could be foliage. You could do those beautiful Italian trees that are like paintbrushes. You could do those if you prefer. Then I want to do, I want to do a sunset. I want to do a sun, but I don't want to, oh, well, I'll just do it now. Draw that really lightly because I'm, I don't really need to draw it because I wanted to paint it. Um, but the sun is going to gleam down onto the Colosseum, so it's going to be in there. Right, so all you want to do is think about the, the colour of the Colosseum. I would say it's almost like a sandy colour. I'm trying to remember. When I went there, that's a long time ago. Maybe the, those two colours are cool. Can you see that? I think it's, yeah. Right, so what I would do is I would colour, I'm doing chalk, but felt tip's good, paint's good. Um, to be honest, you can colour in anything, but whatever you do, I'm doing a dark, sandy colour that's almost like um, a dark brown. I'm going to do that for the pillars. And I, you know what? I don't have to be that neat. I know I keep saying that, but you don't because it's, you know, it's not going to be a flat surface. So if there's different colours coming through, it would look quite cool. I'm just going to do that for now, just to show you. Then this colour that's a bit sandy, I might do it inside. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm holding it like that because I don't have to be neat with it because it's a light colour. It will look quite nice if it smudges a bit. It gives that stone feel. And even if you go over the arches, doesn't matter. Oh, then outline. It really is starting to look like that cake my mum bought in the weekend, which was a delicious 
um, coffee walnut cake. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, right, then you get your one, obviously we're gonna do the rest, but I'm gonna get my one finger, and I'm just gonna, and I'm not being that careful, I'm just blending, I'm smudging in, because the column, the pillars, are gonna bring in some of the color that you want in here. So you're just gonna go in each section like that. Don't go like that because you'll get such a flat surface. And then this, you could just go over like this. And then each little bit there, each little bit. And it's great if it blends and smudges. Don't panic if you think, oh, it looks so messy. It will not look messy when you finish. And it will look more like it's the Colosseum if you do it like that. Just gonna go around this bit because I forgot to tell you it's the outline. Go around that bit. Okay, now obviously I haven't finished all of it, but I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna get some black paint. I'm gonna make it quite watery, so you know, like a milkshake consistency. All you have to do is get your brush that's in water and then put it a little bit on the side of the black that you've got it in the pot palette. So if you've got a bit of black on the palette or the plate, just get a bit of water on your brush and just mix a little bit of the side of it. If you're not sure what I mean, don't panic. Just do, and you don't even have to do this in paint, but it looks really nice in paint. You don't want to do felt tip because you'll ruin the felt tip over the chalk. But all I'm doing, it's hard to talk when I do it, so maybe I, why not talk? <laughs> Let's save you from my talking, hang on. All I'm doing, what I find easier is when you draw around the arch first because if you try and colour it in without drawing around the outline you end up making a mistake or getting the outline really fluffy but you want it really nice and, and smooth if possible. So I'm not being that precise I am trying to be neat though. Okay, so that would be the bottom. Can you see the difference once it's painted? It looks really nice. What you could do as well, I don't know if I've got, oh, I have somewhere in my pot. <laughs> I've got a, um, oh, I just dropped over. I've got a rubber. Once the paint's dry, you could just do some white bits inside. Just like, you wanna let it dry though. Just to make, it looked like it's not all one uniform colour. Now I'm going to do the rest. You could do a beautiful sunset on the background or just something that appeals to you. So something that you like. Some of you might prefer like a, a blue sky. Nighttime might be really nice as well. Because then you could do inside here, you could do yellow. So the light shining, that might look quite cool. So it's up to you really how you want to colour it in. But if you stick to these colours, oh, I forgot something I just realised. Do there as well. Okay. Thought I smudged everything. Right, so I'm going to do the brown first that I'm smudging. So then smudge inside each one. I've gone over some of the windows or whatever that is in there, not the window, <laughs> you know what I mean, the little holes and that's fine. Can you see that without the black it just doesn't look quite as vibrant, does it? So when you start adding the black, oof, that nearly, that nearly dripped. 
Yeah, mine's a bit watery actually. Make sure it doesn't drip. Yours won't. Yours won't drip because you're not holding it up. And if you want to look really realistic, once it's dry, the black, you can just get white chalk and just draw some three Dness in it. I'll show you what I mean. You can draw some three D elements in it. So what I mean by that is, uh, pretend I think one of them's dry. You can get white chalk, and you can just do a little line to sort of make it look like it's three D. Can you see that? I quite like that look, to be honest, because drawing over paint with chalk, oh, it's so satisfying, and it looks really good. So you could do that for all of them if you want. And then if you feel that some of it's a bit too dark, just get a rubber, rub out some bits, because it's nice if you've got all different colours in there. So that's roughly my Colosseum, but I'm going to do my background. So I want to pick a really cool green. It's a really nice green for my... You don't really have to do the background, but I like showing that it's in something, like it's in a, a sort of... I can't think of the word, <laughs> in a surrounding, it's quite nice. So there's my trees. I like the idea of a dark sky, like a black sky though, I think that would work really well as well. Now I'm a little bit covered in paint. We're going to do, I really like the idea of something bright. So this sun probably won't be as bright. Um, I'm just going to wonder if I should get paint. Do you know what, I'll do that and see what it looks like. Mm. I might get some yellow paint, so hang on. What would be quite nice actually is if you kind of had different colours. I've got a big tube, well a big pot of yellow paint there. He said Lello. What my little Robin used to say when he was small. So I'm going to get yellow paint. And I would like, I mean, you can't see it. Well, you probably can see it to be fair, but you want to just really show. And you've got to be careful because of the chalk, because obviously you don't want the chalk to mix. But you want to show a really bright sunshine over the Colosseum. Just look really, really good. But you won't have your black line like I've got it. So yours should look really good and what I mean you won't see the black line of the sun so I'll do the yellow like that and then I quite like that to be a bit thicker and then I'm gonna <laughs> I need to get all my bits and bobs together and then I'm going to dry my brush like rinse and dry and then you want to smudge it, like smudge the water. <laughs> like it's just water on the brush. Gosh, it dried really fast. Wow. I think it's because it's quite warm in here. So you're just smudging it over, smudge, smudge, smudge. Now the good thing about this, careful the chalk, obviously. You don't want to get the chalk wet. But once you've done that, you can get chalk and go over it so you can add certain things. It looks amazing, it really does. I'm just going to do the floor. I'm going to do it like a grey, just so it's something extra. As I say, you don't need to do any of this background. You can just do the Colosseum and have it like that. And like, you know, like I said before, careful about the black paint because before you do any more chalk, once you've done those, you want to just let it dry really. And just think, the colour seems huge, it's really big, so we want to just put a bit of shadow. So I'm going to get a bit of black chalk, just at the bottom, and just blend that in. Like a little bit of a shadow there. Oh, it's quite a big shadow there, isn't it? It'll be obviously a shadow. Right, okay, then, then. <laughs> ah, covered in it. What I was wanting to do, I'm just gonna dab it dry because I wanna show you something. 
what I was thinking of doing. You won't have these black lines, so I'm going to try and show you. Oh, I can't it doesn't go over. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, do you know what? It's okay. Let's do something with that. Let's do. Hmm, I kind of wanted to show you actually. I need to get it to dry really, don't I? Hmm, I'd try and go over it, couldn't I? No, it's not like it. Well, let's get some white paint because that's the only way forward, isn't it? So you don't you don't have to do this. You all look amazing because you've done you've done it about the black pen. <laughs> Because I've done the black pen, I've got to go over it to show you what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to get white. I want to go over my black lines to give the impression that the sun's shining down, but it's not a great big cartoon sun. That's what I'm trying to aim for. You could even do a mosaic background. That's what I did with some of my kids that I was teaching I did um a mosaic background and it looked amazing so don't feel that you need to just paint the background you don't oh, it looks so much better when the black line goes doesn't it because it's very powerful the black line and we want it to just be just a bit more subtle really the sun that's all Okay, now you don't have to do any of this because you do not have, <laughs> you do not have a black line, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine because you don't have a black line. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so that is, ooh, do you know what we could do as well? You could also do some really lovely white sort of spots. I like the idea of that in in the sun, in the sky. I quite like adding that. You don't have to do that. Um, and you can decide if you think it looks nice or not. But for me, it just adds a little bit of texture to the picture. So it's not just all flat with a background. And you could even paint that bit really, couldn't you, if you wanted to. Let's have a look. Tempted to paint the, the sun white. Okay, so there we have it. I think if I was going to do more to it, I probably would just maybe put some white and yellow there, just so it blends in a bit more, maybe goes off the page. Because it's nice when it blends and it doesn't just suddenly stop the colour. Do you know what I mean? So there we go. There is my Colosseum. Enjoy, have fun doing it, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.